All right, hello everybody and welcome. This is Revo to Max, and I'm doing a video today with a 4116E HS. And this could be with any NVR that is, say, you know, like a 4108 or anything that says that, that let's say, has half of the ports as PoE and half of the ports as non PoE. So in this instance, this is a 4116. E HS and that's uh, with eight PoE ports on the NVR and I'm making this video as a way to try to help let's say new NVR owners that might have say three or four non PoE cameras and a couple or you know one two three four five or whatever amount of poe cameras that you got with the 4116 to start out with um, some people might not get any and they're just going to you know use it for for uh, future updates you know upgrades but in this pretense we currently have a single um, poe camera currently connected that's a 41 or 841 e on port one all right now what you want to do and i say this as a way to being most productive okay um what you want to do since this is an eight port so one two three four five six seven and eight these all would be for poe non poe to save time and headache in the future start with number nine okay let's say this is a you know wi-fi that you have in a remote location you don't have cable that you can you know connect we're going to you know normally this wouldn't be listed but i've already done my search you do a device search your device comes up you click it you click add now something to keep in mind so this doesn't happen okay you want to make sure that your password is the same as your nvr's password okay and then it'll automatically and i'll show you that after this one now this one because of the camera type has a non normal admin name so named it admin one this will go from orangish red to green okay and then it'll load up all right then we connect our next one here and because this does have the right password it loads right up next one here because it has the right password it'll load right up all right now you're thinking to yourself okay great now let's do you know a four one through four grid okay but i can't see the other ones that you just loaded all right so how do you how do you do that well you right click you go to sequence okay now you see these, it's showing you have one, two, three, and four. And what you want to do is you want to take this one, move it to two. Take this one, move it to three. Take this one, move it to four. And then you press apply. Now, when you look at one through four now you have one through four now the whole pretense behind this video is to help the people that have an nvr that's a poe and has half poe ports and the other half non-poe 
and you're, you know, thinking ahead and you're going to get more POE cameras in the future. This way, when you plug in your, you know, POE cameras into port two, this will now be port two, but you can, of course, move that again by using the sequence. Okay, when you have your other ones that'll load in, then you'll be able to move them whenever you need to. But when you plug it into the back of the NVR, it will be in a port number. Okay, this way it's saving those ports for future installation. Um, if you were to just say go main menu camera, do your device search, and load your devices in. Now, I didn't want to load too many of them because it shows my password, um, or not password, but it shows, you know, serial numbers. Anyway, um, when you put them in that way, it'll actually put them in the next available slot. So, putting them in this way it allows you to put them in whatever slot you want okay now you just have to remember okay where you know where did i leave off i have another you know non poe camera i want to do just remember that you know these three we just moved down here so this would be the next spot and then so on and so forth so here's here's what happens if let's say for instance this one was on port two, okay, and then you plugged in a PoE camera there, you're going to get a message on your NVR that says, this is already, you know, filled. Do you want to use it for this camera? You say yes, you now lose this camera. It's not going to move this to another open port, or I mean another open channel. It's just going to wipe it out. So, it's best, you know, to leave your eight channels for PoE open and available for your future install. And again, by doing the sequence and you want to see those four channels, you now have them in your four grid. All right. This is the most uh, convenient way and fastest and easiest way to set up a PoE NVR with only having half the ports PoE and the other half non-PoE. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, please feel free to you know leave a comment. If you like the video, please feel free to click the thumbs up. Until next time. Thanks for watching and be safe and happy new years.